Hey everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a confetti animation using GSAP. Before proceeding further, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Open your code editor. Then, create an HTML file. Use the link tag to include our CSS file. In the body, create a div element, with class as main. Inside it, create a span element, and put your main text inside it. Use the strong tag, to put emphasis on the text. Create a span element, with class as small. You can put subtext inside it. Now, include jQuery and GSAP into our project. All the links will be in description. Use another script tag, to include our javascript file. Our HTML is ready. Let's write the CSS. For the body, set width to 100 viewport width. Set height to 100 viewport height. Set background color to black. Set font family to sans serif. Set color to white. Set overflow to hidden. For the main class, set position to absolute. Set top and left to 50%. Set transform to translate minus 50% minus 50%. Set text align to center. For the main class's span element, set display to block. Set font size to 36 pixels. Set font weight to 600. Set color to sunset orange. Set letter spacing to 0.03m. For main classes spans strong element, set font weight to 600. Set color to white. For the main class's small class, set display to block. Set color to unary.
set margin top to 12 pixels. Set font weight to 600. Set font size to 14 pixels. For the confetti class, that we will be adding through JavaScript. Set width to 7 pixels. Set height to 12 pixels. Set position to absolute. Set Z index to 2. Our CSS is ready. Let's write the JavaScript. Declare a total variable, with a value of 75, which will control the amount of particles on screen. Declare two other variables, where we will store the windows in a width, and in a height. Let's write a random function, which will generate a random number, in given range. It will take a min, and max value as arguments. Return the sum of min, and float value of, multiplication of, math.random, and difference of max and min. Let's write another function, which will generate a random number, in between 0 and given value. Return math.random into max. Let's write generate function, where we will generate the confetti particles. Use a for loop, with condition as i lesser than total. Use jQuery to append a div, with class as confetti, to the body. Use gsap's set method, which sets the properties of target element. Pass the confetti div, at ith key, which will be our target element. For the options param, set x to random number, in range of windows in a width. Set y to random number, in between range of minus 2 times the windows in a height, and 0. Set opacity to 1. Set scale to sum of a random number, in range of 0.5, and 0.5. We will use HSL system for background color, since RGB may generate too bright, or too dull colors, which may not look good. Set hue to a random number, between 0 and 360.
sunset saturation, and lightness to 50%. Call the animate function, which we will write next, for the same target element. Let's write the animate function, which will animate the confetti particle across the screen. It will take an element as argument. Use gsaps to method to animate the element with provided values. Set duration to a random number in range of 5 plus 4. Set Y to windows in a height plus 40. Set ease to none. Set repeat to minus 1, which will repeat the animation infinitely. Set delay to minus 1. Use another two method for the same element. This time, set duration to a random number, in range of 5, and add 1 to it. Set x to plus equal to 70, which will move the particle by 70 pixels horizontally. Set repeat to minus 1. Set yo-yo to true, which will alternate the back and forth movement of the particle. Set ease to sign dot in out. Again, use another two method, for the same element, for one last time. Use the same duration, that we used earlier. Set scale x to 0 0.2. Set rotation to a random number, in range of 360. Set repeat to minus 1. Set yo yo to true. Set ease to sign dot in out. Now, call the generate function. Let's write a window on resize function, where we will regenerate new particles, based on new inner width, and inner height. Use arrays from method, to create an array out of object, that is returned by jQuery. Use for each method, to iterate over the array, and remove each element from the DOM. Updates the variables, which held windows in a width and in a height, with new values.
call the generate function again, which will generate particles based on new values. Note. You can use GSAP skill tweens of method at the beginning of function to stop the animation and avoid any possible performance issues. Our project is ready. Let's see the preview. It is looking great. So, that's all for today. Hope you would have enjoyed the tutorial. Please be sure, to drop a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel, for more such tutorials. I will meet you next time, till then, good luck, and peace.